Hey everybody, I'm Renee from Tailspin Farm. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and today I'm hopping on to show you how to do a little maintenance on your Spin Illusion spinning wheels. I have all three of mine sitting here today. My little polywog is right here. Um, and I'm going to show you the one main thing that you probably will have to change at some point. Um, and there's very few things, pieces and parts on these that do need to be um, adjusted or fixed. Things like the drive band may need to be replaced at some point, although I've had this one for almost, it'll be two years in September, I believe, and I haven't had to do that yet. Um, but tightening screws, things like that are basic maintenance. Um, spin Illusion wheels are no oil wheels, so you don't need to worry about that. But there is one thing that I'm going to switch out today, and I thought I'd bring you along just to show you how to do it. Um, it is an easy fix if you have a squeaky wheel, and I have a squeaky wheel, I've had a squeaky wheel, um, and I haven't changed it yet. So, we're going to do that today together, and I'll show you how easy it is to do it. Um, so this is just going to be a quick, short little video. Um, but first, I had to order the felt pads. Um, they come in a pack of 10, and I can't remember how much they cost. It was under $20. Um... And so they come just in a little bag and what you're looking for is this little piece of felt. And it goes right here onto, let me turn her around. Right here you can see the tension. Um, I'm gonna actually loosen that and pull this out. This is the tension block. And as you can see, I have worn mine right out. <laughs> so you can see the little screw there. Um, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to unscrew that. Hopefully the screwdriver I grabbed will be big enough, and it is. Um, don't lose your screw. And I'm going to pull out my old part. Um, these used to be glued in. And now they have the screw holding them. There's a groove there. And so you just slide. This is my old one. This is my new one. So I'm just going to slide that up inside. And hopefully as easy as that. Just kind of twist it a little bit to get it in. Now the only thing I'm not sure of is if the hole, I think the screw is going to pop the hole right into the felt. I don't think I need to um, do anything because the screw has a sharp point. So I think once I start screwing it in, um, it is going to go in. This is going to be probably the trickiest part is getting the screw started. And that's it. And it was as quick and easy as that. And my little screwdriver is almost too small for this. And I think this one's too big. But I think I have it tight enough. Or I have it tightened down. Yep. So that's all it took. And my new felt pad is in there. Again, here's my old one. Um, and I am going to trim that. And I didn't bring any scissors with me, so I think, yep, yeah, I'm gonna need to trim that down. So let me pause this and grab a pair of scissors. So you will need those also. Okay, so I grabbed a pair of scissors real quick and I am just going to push that into the groove and trim off the excess. And then we're going to slide this back in. And put the spring and the, knob, the tension knob back on. And it is as easy as that. Um, 
let's see, I don't think you can see the little Pollywog. Pollywog has the same one right on the side um, here, and I just got these so I don't need to replace them. And then my Echo, you can see right here, it's right on top here. So you can't miss that. So that's that. Um, again, just a quick video on how to um, upkeep and keep maintenance on your um, spin elution wheels. If you have any other questions about spin elution wheels, you can contact me. Um, you can put a comment down below or you can um, direct message me on Instagram or email me. Um, all my inf information is down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, stay tuned. I have a couple more um, coming out next week on um, working on carding fiber. Um, I'm actually going to work on that one this afternoon because uh, I had a lot of requests for that one. Um, I'm going to be carding Angora with different fibers and on um, different um, tools that I have besides just the hand carters. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button down below. And if you don't already subscribe, please do that. Um, I appreciate it very much. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day and that you're creating something. Bye.